All right, let's go guys. Welcome back into the channel for the latter half of episode four. It is absolutely insane to me that we're already at the end of episode five. I feel like I've flown through this. I don't know, it feels like I've flown through it. I know for y'all it's been over the course of like three to four weeks, but to me it has felt like we've flown through this and I have been thoroughly enjoying it, especially as we got further into it. And so, while I am currently starting Ragnarok and I have other games on my horizon, I want you guys to know that I will definitely be coming back. I can't say like this year definitively, but I will. De <laughs> I would definitely love to come back to this series as a whole um, down the road. I especially want to see if you play as Max in the other ones as well, but don't tell me if you do. But go, let's go. Thanks for being here, guys. I just have so much, as the intro shows, I'm just, I have so much fun getting to do this and it is just a dream come true and it's because of y'all, so thank you so much. Oh, that's right, okay. So we did leave off with the board. So we kind of already saw this, but I paused right here, so we'll re-see this for a second. The music. Chloe, you're back. Just kind of get a reminder. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, and now you're all over me. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Oh, I cannot Max, imagine did you that forget feeling. we've gone over this. I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Never. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. She's like, I'm done. Welcome back to the I'm real done. world, Max. We will not be messing with time anymore. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. I think I already spoke to that at the end of the last episode, but yeah, I think that's a really smart decision. I, especially considering how sensitive it is with her dad and everything. It just would not bring up any good. Even though we do have to do a step douche now, but all right, let's get up real quick. Hold on. I'm getting my drinks all organized. Let's look okay. at the big board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. So what do we have written down already? Nathan's still a suspect. I'm telling you guys. Okay, I'll give you guys actually my suspicion list after this in one second. I think that he's too obvious. I think that there's more that we need to know from Frank, but I so close yet so far away we have to do three main things right uh what things one decipher frank's logbook mm -hmm. two get nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the vortex club parties with kate and rachel and see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages three beat step douche dan until he tells us about frank nathan and the dark room oh i forgot so about that the i don't have a gun thing. anymore Forget yes, that. that's the solution. You we'll have to do title, this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. <laughs> or Blackwell would be in big trouble. I you would say I've wasted it on more trivial things. Frank off. And I'm glad. We have to be better than that. I know. We're better than that. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and mom is giving him the boot. I'm on that it, That is true. That could definitely bite us in the butt. But real quick, so I wanna give you guys... Oh, we do need to catch up on... Oh, this is... Oh, you know what? I just realized that we can't go back to our other journal and so I missed a lot of pages. Yeah, I missed a lot of pages, didn't I? Or no, are these the pages that I would have read there? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me pick back up just for me because it has been a few days. Uh, let's play catch up in the journal to help me organize my thoughts on that. But real quick, suspects. And also, let me see what I have here. Oh, I have nothing. I still have nothing. I find it really hard to believe that there was nothing we could have taken pictures of in the other world wow chapter three i did so bad all right i need to keep an eye out for this one but 
back to the suspects. All right, so I think that if we're treating this like a mystery, and I love, like I love mystery novels and everything, David, Nathan, and Frank seem too obvious. While I do think Frank is kind of suspicious and creepy, I actually think that he really did care for Rachel. Um, there's just a couple inferences that I've seen in, or I derived from his behavior. So I'm choosing to believe that he, while he probably still has more to say or more involvement, I don't think he actually uh, is the reason for her disappearance. Although it could be really off on that. Maybe it's, it, it's gonna go one, or the other way. It's either gonna be exactly who you expect it to be and it's all about proving it's them or it's gonna be somebody we never even expected. So if we're going with the latter thought, the latter train of thought, I'm leaning towards suspicion on Warren, maybe a little bit on Jefferson. Nathan still is more there as well. And also I thought about it. What if it's somebody that we haven't even met yet? I see that we have finished all of our journal entries, but maybe there's gonna be a new journal entry for like the next episode or something because we hear a lot about prescott's family but we don't know or have met them before so that's a little suspicious david i believe actually does care about the kids and i think he really does want to stop what's going on here uh probably because he you know i think say what you will but i think that he <sighs> cares and sorry i'm blanking right now i really think he cares and i think he wants to kind of make it to the next level beyond just being the school's uh security and so i think maybe for him he's looking at this as a great opportunity to to maybe go on to the police force or police academy or something like that it just seems like he really wanted to be and do more than what he's just doing that being said he does take his job at the school very serious um so yeah, I really don't think it's David. I really don't think it's Frank. Jefferson, I'm suspicious of just because of them, just because they put him in the three options to begin with. When we could point our fingers to blame at Nathan, David, or Jefferson, I actually didn't really get that why Jefferson was in there. I think I've missed a couple of details with him, but I get a weird feeling off the rip because if y'all remember, somebody did, and it could have been, you know, just pointless gossip right but somebody did mention that him and Je rachel like possibly had a relationship or something like that and while we know that he quickly rejected victoria that's not to say that he rejected rachel back if rachel did have an interest in him as well so he's a little suspicious to me warren has this total nice guy act and call me a scorned <laughs> lover or something but i don't trust it i don't trust how like he's super i don't know i mean he's so nice it's so hard to see fault with him but because of that i see fault he's too nice <laughs> all of you guys out there and you're like this is the problem with girls is you can't even the nice guy doesn't win the bad guy doesn't win what are we supposed to <laughs> but yeah i don't know warren's still on my suspect radar um Chloe, obviously, I don't believe Chloe has anything to do with it. She's so clearly trying to find Rachel. Kate has more to her story, but Kate is her own story as well. Uh, and we know that whoever did this did want Kate to be the next one, but it didn't work out. So we kind of did prevent that. Victoria might be a bitch, but <laughs> I don't think she has any involvement in this. Joyce as well. I Joyce is Joyce. She's just out there being the best. She reminds me of just the awesome ladies at Waffle House that say like darling to you and everything because she works at the diner. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. The principal, by the way, I've kind of kept the principal out of a lot of my predictions because I don't know enough about him. I really don't. And while I think it's interesting that he forced me to the point, he did kind of force us to the point of saying who we suspected. And he, we saw that he was talking with somebody in a car and I don't know who was in the car, but he was talking to somebody outside of one of the episodes later in, earlier in the season. So there's more to be done there. I find it suspicious he wanted us to point fingers already because you know, if you were somebody who did something, you would exactly want that. You would want to know for people that are investigating it, what they know to see if they're onto you or something, so. I just, I had a bad feeling when he kept 
laying blame to us. I feel like the principals had it out for Max from the beginning, and I don't know where that comes from. So there's a lot of questions, but okay. So to the journal, and then we'll get started. But all right, I want to say it was this one, and I don't think I read any of this. So uh, then I found myself actually back in the photo. So we did do that. Oh no, okay. Okay, we haven't. Okay, sorry, I was peeping at it. October 10th, Dear Diary. Let's never do the time warp again. I can't even begin to explain what happened. If I think too hard about the ramifications, my brain might melt. When I try to describe it, it's as I'm describing something that happened to someone else. Chloe was so upset when we discovered that Rachel had actually been involved with Frank Bowers and she just blew up. I can never talk to her when she's like this, and I just get tired of having to walk on eggshells around her emotions. She still blames William for her messed up life, and no matter how much she knows she's being unfair, I can't say that I wouldn't be just a messed up, as messed up. Not that I'm not in my own way. In my room, all I could think about- I did read this one, didn't I? In my room, all I could think about is I wish I could go back in time and help Chloe. And suddenly, I was looking at the photograph William had taken of us on that day he died. And it started pulsing like it was 3D. Like I could see inside the photograph. Then I found myself actually back in the photo. To when I was 13 years old. I was back in Chloe's kitchen in the year 2008. Oh, great year. <laughs> what was I, 10? 11 with Chloe and William, right before he left to pick up Joyce for the last time. Since my powers somehow morphed to this new level of rewind, I decided that there was no way I could let William die again. So I played hide the keys until he had no other option but to take the bus. I was so happy that I actually saved William. I never thought about what could go wrong. I knew I was screwed when I came out of my epic rewind and saw Victoria chase. But now she wasn't my, wait, now she was my friend. And I was a member of the Vortex Club. Nuff said. <laughs> I knew I had screwed up. And then I felt sick thinking about what it might have changed with Chloe. I had a clue when I saw David Matson driving the school bus. He sure didn't look so threatening anymore. I didn't want to know how he ended up as a bus driver instead of with Joyce. Well, obviously, because William's still alive, so they would have never gotten... I felt my heart drop when I rushed to Chloe's house. So when William opened the door, I prepared myself for the worst. That's interesting. She already thought that something really bad had happened. I wouldn't have predicted that. I would have thought that going into it, everything was fine outside of um, Joyce and, and um, David's relationship not working out. That's when Chloe rolled forward in her wheelchair, paralyzed from the neck down. I didn't even know what to say. So I covered my mouth in my typical gesture of shock and stupid. But Chloe's smile was so genuine and beautiful, I almost cried. My hair is getting pulled by the stars again. That's such an interesting sticker. I had to adjust to everything without freaking out or telling Chloe that I actually altered time and space to save her from her father. But get, in a, but get her in a car accident so she can never walk again. The thing is, she was still Chloe just minus all the rage. This Chloe was just grateful to be alive and have her family watching over her. Chloe begged me to spend the night, and of course I did. I noticed how run down parts of her new home were, compared to before. I saw the incredible expensive equipment that Chloe now requires, including her new garage room. Sorry, David. Don't be sorry. Even though I felt awful and disconnected, Chloe was just so bubbly and excited to hang out with me again especially since I flaked on her pretty hardcore after her accident. Even in an alternate universe, I'm a shitty friend. Ugh. Chloe's world was so new and unique to me, especially her strength and kindness and pain. She needed a whole pharmacy to get through the day, and I didn't feel sorry for her. I felt in awe with her attitude. As Chloe didn't blame anyone for her condition, even though she had the right, we strolled down the beach and saw the beached whales that proved something bad had happened in both realities. That is true. Chloe didn't even point fingers, really, or be angry at the person that had hit her in the car. And then Chloe asked me to put her to sleep. The accident left her body pretty much broken. 
Her lungs stopped working properly, and she was basically dying a slow, painful death. She also felt so guilty about her parents' sacrifice and dwindling income. She wasn't erotic or tortured about this request, just practical, which made me feel even more terrible for putting her in this situation. But there was no way I was going to help my best friend take her own life. I couldn't do it, especially after what happened with Kate. I know I should have done whatever Chloe asked of me, considering I was responsible for her situation, but how could I inject her full of morphine and just watch her fade away? I know she was upset, but I just had to tell myself that this reality wasn't real. After my visit to Chloe's new world, I knew it was time to go. Max to the future. <laughs> I'd never even thought about the play on that instead of back, Max. I had to see... I had seen the result of my temporal temp tampering, and I got scared and thinking my new power wouldn't even work anymore. That would have been cruel karma. Fortunately, I was able to project myself into the photograph once again, and I undid everything I had done. Goodbye, William. Again. Oh, no, no. Hello, David. Again. When the spirit, something about a wolf right there on the picture. I think that there's a lot more significance to the stickers, and it's easy to kind of like. I can't just abuse this level of them. my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. Look at the. Wasn't that that, that was snow the snow? Always cold. makes me think of William and Chloe. I didn't realize it when I looked at it the first time we were in this room, but yeah, that was what ended up in the room in the alternative universe. All right, we need to go down to the... Oh, that scared oh no. me. That poor little bird has been trapped in here. Oh, I knew that. Remember, we saw that in the other universe. She'll be up here. I can't take a picture of it yet. But maybe I can grab something to scoot it out the window? No, I need to reverse time first. I need to not scare it. Oh, okay. Never mind. Did I... I haven't opened that window right there. Okay, before we do anything, can I take a picture of the bird? No. All right, so let's open the window first. I think this is a picture opportunity. It should be. Oh, all right, goodbye bird. Fly, be free. The little blue bird. I feel like we should, wait, why do I still hear flapping in my ear? Hold on. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. I don't know if I should close this. I feel like I should close it back. I don't know. For some reason, I thought that was one of the pictures, though. Looking at that picture. Is there anything else in the bathroom? I know I've... Oh. I know I've searched through this before, but I wonder if there's anything else we can take a picture of. We can use the sink. Did I do that before? See, now I'm starting to forget. It's been too long. It's been a while. Or blue. Oh, that blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back. Oh, there's different voice me. lines. Okay. That's so worth it. It felt crazy seeing her. Okay, but they still are, you know, trying to be mindful of the money that they spend nonetheless. So let's not contribute to it. Uh, yeah. It was so weird seeing her without her blue hair. It's crazy how we associate people with like that one defining kind of thing. And hers was the blue hair. You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you ever, but I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. There are a lot of references to like darkness and lightness here, but um, you know, considering his age and everything, I don't exactly think that we should be blaming 18 year olds for the loss of our relationship and our family and everything. Like she merely, spoke out of things he had done. 
That still doesn't take away that he did those things. It's like, oh, what is it? It's like when you get caught, right? It's just what you say when you've been caught. You're not sorry. You're just sorry you got caught. Yo, yo, Max. Your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. What? Where did that even come from? Hold on. Uh, in this case, yes, my folks. Bullshit. Okay, hold on. So I got that. I don't know who is this. How did this happen? Okay. Oh, that's why he was upset because I didn't go back and change his chemistry test. I'm a bad friend. B effing minus? I got a B minus on my chem test? How did this happen? I don't know. Who is this? Ouch. Warren the wounded. The B minus, it burns. It burns us. I wish I could have helped you, but I thought you were blinded by science. I all I think of is I'm playing grounded right now with Anna. <laughs> And every time it goes over raw science. In this case, yes, my folks will shit. Yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texted me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. Chloe actually texted you. Also, how do you determine that somebody sounds hot by texting? What? This is ridiculous. Now he's even higher on my sus meter. I sure didn't have her number. Oh. At least I still get to go ape with you, unless you want to chill with Chloe. Or we could all go. Okay, he's coming across. Very needy. One pain in the ass is enough. Cool. I have to jet. TTYL. Interesting. Don't like his demeanor in this entire conversation. Feels a little weird. Feels a little... Oh, I have more text. I'm so popular. Uh, feels really just beyond needy just suspicious okay no more new really didn't want to call me a I'm Nazi again all right I'm so sorry but okay oh Maxine what the heck is going on with the weather up there are they doing military tests or something you're right in the eye of the storm yes I even killed my plant Lisa I'm mad about that because she told me not to water it every day Y'all, this has been the worst decision of my entire time playing this game, is killing the plant. I'm so sorry, sweetie. Get another. <laughs> okay, mom, just buy another. One plant was stressful enough. Now back to the books. Talk to you soon. XO, Max O. That's cute. Um. Aw. Okay, so I saw that. Max, how are you? I hope you can still visit me this week. I have some important things to talk about. We need to go visit her. Of course, I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you and my bunny. We all miss you and your bunny misses you. Yay, you are such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. XO Maxo. And Justin. Justin. Sorry, my phone was in my bag. Hey, Justin, you busy? Okay, I saw that. Busy blazing. Okay, we saw that. Okay. Do you know Frank Bowers? Drugs. What a... Okay. That is quite the answer. I mean, that gives us everything we have to know, right? That's it. <laughs> Ask Nathan. He knows him, I think. Okay, so we did kind of get to talk to them in the alternative universe, though, right? Or not the... No. Sorry, that was in this universe. But yes, we still got our answers. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? Question mark. For what? Juliet. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from Ace Reporter. Oh, okay. What is this? I hope you're okay after everything. You might be busy, but feel free to call me anytime. Hey, Juliet, are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going down? Besides everything? I was just curious if you've ever heard of a guy named Frank who lives in an RV around town. You mean a van down by the river? I heard he's a sketchy meth head. That's about it. Why? Are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon. Thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from an ace reporter like Juliet Watson. Hello? I mean, I guess you can keep secrets if you don't talk to them. Wait, we have a message from Courtney, too? Hey, honey, I just got... Oh, what? That's not good. Oh, no, y'all. My family's starting to get threatened. Hey, honey, I just got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? And it's from a blocked number. Oh my, I'm so sorry. Some jackasses in my class that'd be funny to send. It's not. I don't like strangers having my number, okay? Neither does anyone. Me neither, sorry. 
I'm just being a dad, and I know this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over. I'll call you guys later. Love you. That is true. It is almost over. All right, Chloe and Courtney. Hey, girlfriend. Let me know when you want to come by my room, and I'll give you a fashion makeover. Oh, thanks, Courtney. I'm swamped with homework now, but I'll check back in with you. Thanks again for the offer. That's kind of sweet. What was this? Mm. Sorry I got in your face today and took my bullshit rage out on my best friend. I think I saw that. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and busted out my rewind. <laughs> okay, that is your one get out of emoji jail free card. But we need to stock up on cigs, coffee, and candy for an all-nighter. We have to get into Rachel and Kate's detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. I'll bring my thinking cap. No worries. Have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet, I'll be ready. XO. And that was no emoji. She's gonna miss my emojis at some point, all right? Okay, so we are finally caught up with all of that. We can now continue into a sleuth mode. No pictures. The TV, maybe we can interact with Those it. Those poor whales are like beached angels. Uh, what is going on here? That is so strange. It is all of the signs of an apocalypse. A travel money. Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. That's actually great to see, like as much as it was cool to know that they got to finally travel. At least. Oh, the scary Michael Myers knife. E e e or psycho. Ouch. Damn. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. J Price. That's uh asshole or not, it you never like to see a family split up like that. It's still tough. Somehow I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. Hmm. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now Max Caulfield exists in two or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? Existential I crisis. Would hate me for keeping her alive. But I couldn't do it. Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. To be 18 and have kind of like the weight of the world on your shoulders in a way, at least the weight of other people's lives. It's not fair to her. Oh, I think we can take a picture of the donuts, no? No? I need to get a donut today. I've sold. The signs are everywhere. I keep thinking that there will be something I can take a picture of outside. I'll go outside in a second, though. Oh, photo. Oh. Joyce must be so upset. Mm. Are you helping anybody, Max? Just because they're upset right now doesn't mean, like, I... Max needs to not be so hard on herself for that. Like, he is reaping the consequences of his own actions. Looks like David already booked a room. Hmm. Reservation, 638. I wonder if that hotel has anything to do with the missing people. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. Eco-apocalypse now? While Arcadia Bay was until now considered a quaint fishing and tourist nook on the Oregon coast, the town that time forgot is, since the beginning of this week, in the literal eye of an environmental storm. Starting with a freak snowfall, an unprecedented eclipse, and dying birds, and now half a dozen beached whales, Arcadia Bay's strange weather is being studied by prominent state and national scientists, apparently including NASA and Warren. <laughs> What's even more incredible than these eco-phenomenon is the fact that not a single meteorologist has offered any actual theory or even reason for this atmospheric havoc. Continued on the next page. All right, let's slide this door. I think we would have gotten, you know what it is? Oh, I wonder if we would have gotten photos this time or in the previous chapter, had we like scribbled when we were in the reality with Warren or with, um. Her dad. I keep getting my names all mixed up. 
All right, we see all the dead birds. Any photos? Like, any photos? Hmm. The, I never noticed the basketball up there. Guys. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. <laughs> I love how I'm always... Oh. Interesting. William never finished painting that wall. That's one piece I never saw. Y'all, I am joining a softball league this spring. <laughs> Me and sports ball. It's all in an effort to get out from behind the computer more. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that that was important information for y'all to know. <laughs> but I saw the basketball and now I'm like, oh gosh. I'm gonna be a bench warmer. <laughs> it looks like, like David games. finished his car repairs. Oh yeah. Maybe there's some new clues around. I find it so hard to believe he would have left anything of importance, but, you know, he did leave fairly quickly, so. Note, haven't I read this before? What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Yeah, good point. He left all of his guns? I mean, to be fair, I guess- Either yeah. Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. That makes total sense, because I understand he is going to a hotel, so... Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. This weekend next. I wish Chloe could t Oh. Oh, Boys jeez. Can. David is packing up wedding stuff, too. Hmm. Okay, the paper ball could prove useful. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce. You know I'm not good at explaining myself, or why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that nobody has ever understood me the way that you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. It's so hard to see people say that, but yet, he literally hit her. Yes, I overstepped bounds with the surveillance and suspicion, and I am truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I've never told you. Oh... You are my wife and my partner, and I know that we should have no secrets. I intended to tell you everything, but I wanted more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide on my watch. You kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... Dot, dot, dot. See, there is so much more to him. I go back and forth because it's interesting to me that they keep and they have made the whole surveillance such a prevalent topic in the game because... What he was talking about there was really external surveillance on the school grounds. And I'm pretty sure a lot of colleges have that. Maybe not. I'm not that familiar with what schools do or don't have. But I mean, as long as it's not like inside, especially like, you know, he's not talking about putting them inside of bathrooms or things like that. But I just that keeps coming up as this really heavy topic. So I wonder if there is a huge point to that. You know, like leading up to the final episodes. I go back and forth on this because, you know, he clearly served. They make a huge point in talking about his military service. And, you know, like he definitely shows signs of severe PTSD. And so I know that that plays a factor into this too. This is just not a, it reminds me very much of the barren quest in which you're through right now that I'm doing like things are just not black and white and the sooner you come to terms with that the sooner I feel like you can navigate life a little bit easier but in this case it's so hard to read this and I think it's like the game wants you to empathize with him but it's really hard to for me I don't know why I'm having a hard time thinking that he knows all these other secrets going around and he's choosing not to share them and who is the enemy? Who is not? I don't like it. Sorry, I'm sitting here just falling apart mentally. All right, we've got emails. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. Actually, different point with all of the stuff with David Matson. He had files. He had the files, the police reports. How did he have those? Because those aren't public record. So somebody in the police academy, or at police academy, the police clearly trust him enough to send them over to him, right? Unless maybe that was the favor that 
Nathan's dad did for him was sending him because David and not David we know that Nathan's parents definitely have the money and probably we know actually we know that they own like some of the police so maybe that was the favor that he gave him Despite our rather heated discussion about the successful petition to block a campus surveillance system, I am still interested in your feedback on other methods of improving Blackwell security. We must find a middle ground between safety and the privacy of our students. Yes, I agree. Strongly. Oh, meow, Miss Grant. Twist oh. that knife. Oh. From Michelle to David, I didn't need a surveillance camera to see this suspe suspension coming. Best of luck to you, Mrs. Grant. Damn. At least he has one weird fan. Mrs. Grant? Anon to David. Dear Mr. Madsen, I just wanted to let you know that I think it's bullshit what happened to you, and this school has too many live. Oh, wow, okay. Who don't appreciate you or the military. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge. Huh? Oh. Steam just freaked out on me? Okay. When you were in charge, and I thought about you protecting me, I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we are all safe at night. I am scared of the school. Okay. Going past, I also think that, oh, do you guys think this could be the same person that's sending us the anonymous letters? Like, I know that this isn't a threat, and the anonymous threats that we've been receiving is from somebody who also uses very similar horrible terms and so that would be like my connection to that and it's another anon and but that's too coincidental you can't say that they're the same just because they're both anon but their language feels very similar although one is texting and one is an email but it's interesting that it said i felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge and i thought about you protecting me it's kind of creepy i don't know i don't like that i hope you will come back to blackwell and make sure we're all safe at night I also think an important thing in this letter is the use of night. Because David was surveilling the campus not just at nighttime. Hold on. My controller just lost it. Mm. There we go. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. Yeah. David from Ray. I apologize for my outbreak yesterday in your office. Oh no, this is to the principal. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell with a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. There is a cancer at Blackwell Academy and without me, it will continue to spread. Sincerely, Madsen. There's a cancer at Blackwell Academy and without me, it will continue to spread. Everybody needs to communicate more. Bottom line, you know something, communicate about it. Jeez. Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? A pan estate. David must be working for the press. That's what too. it was. Okay. Mm. And that must have been the favor. That's a lot of cameras, y'all. Although they seem to be mostly external and hallways. I we haven't gone to pan estates, have we? Flyers, the end of the world party. I wonder if David is going to the party. I mean, if he got suspended and he's no longer the oh pizza box <laughs> leave it to me to find the pizza box if he's no longer the security guard he shouldn't be going to school functions or on grounds at all or near the students as an adult Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker hey david what you hiding we can totally use our rewind abilities to get that right we can break it open and then rewind done oh look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest uh, I, I better move his plank. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. Oh. Wait, the action will have consequences. I feel like we should move it back. Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wait. Wildlife series. Wait, 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 wait. We let the bird out, though. Won't buy. Oh, no. Okay, but we let the oh, mama thank bird you. out. Sleep tight, my eggy wags. <laughs> okay, I'm putting the plank back because I think that if you had the plank up against here, if it opened, it could possibly smash down on the eggs. But we let the mama bird out, so we need to go back up and open the window, perhaps? I think. I also have... Okay. 
Hmm. Was I able to capture a photo of the bird flying out the window had I only... Maybe. I don't know it's standing on the window like that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna leave that open. All right, there's nothing in there. We need to get back to the window and open up that window for the mama. We need to... I feel like we just need to move the nest somewhere else. That's a good stash of, uh, you know, extra stuff. Okay, so we have this. We can try to use the padlock. Oh, we need a- For once, I don't have time to search for the code. Mm. Oh, I need to find a way to break this padlock. Do we have, there we go, a crowbar? Oh. I, I'd be shocked if they didn't have, okay, I guess it's the crowbar, okay. I guess okay. that'll work. I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. And then a rewind. Take it back now, y'all. Crowbar. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Actually, the crowbar was perfect, wasn't it? I was thinking bolt cutters for the lock itself. Wait a minute. Oh, maps, notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. 317, she oh, knows something? Yes. Latitudes and longitude. These are coordinates. Town parks? Town parks? Town packs? Town. Town parks. That's what I would. There's a lot of coordinates. And they span from September 30th all the way up till yesterday. He was even watching the fight that we were there for? Twilight Zone. Me. Something about better pay up. Rachel owes me pay up or something. Is that what that says? The Twilight Zone. All right, so we're taking that. That's all we Score. needed. Back to Chloe now. That's really all we needed there. <laughs> Do you guys notice it says X at the top, like the X files? I can only assume. They're connected. I feel like we should put the crowbar back, honestly. Can I put the crowbar back? No, I get stuck with the crowbar. I don't want to have the crowbar. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I doubt he'll notice the photo. Newspaper. It's amazing how much drama this living room has seen. Notice. All right, as far as taking pictures and anything else, call Chloe. No, I don't want to call Chloe. We need to open the window. Yo, Chloe! No! Are you ready yet? I need to be able to, open to get the back to my bird. dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. Mm. David is like a one man surveillance army. That is true. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. It's actually impressive but that I he's been able to have capture to go so see much. Kate in the hospital right now. I, I know want that's to like find out up. how she's doing. I'm, for being like a one person show, it seems kind of crazy to me. There's actually X's all over the game. The baby birds, not the baby birds, not the gumdrop. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you, but imagine how Kate feels. Mm. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I was a total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. Yeah. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. You know, Chloe's kind of Thanks, Chloe. growing. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. <laughs> oh yes, <laughs> I'm on it. Actually, I feel like I told you guys I was hoping to see Max kind of gain more confidence. And at first I actually really didn't like Chloe, but I think that over the course of the game, she does grow on you, but also she grows period. 
It's slight, I know, it's slight, but... Max! Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm you... so sorry. Kate, listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. You just want to cuddle, Is it Kate. A stupid question if I ask how you're doing. Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. Mm -hmm. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You, you should, should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. Oh I'm keeping gosh. the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. Oh. I love your illustrations. They got kind of dark there for a while, but... I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? You better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating uh... you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. I'm glad you believe again, Kate. Mr. I'm working Jefferson? on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Okay, how can you not like Kate? She gave flowers to other patients who needed it more. She's making a children's book about bullying. I think the only thing that I kind of questioned there in her conversation was, like, I really like what Max was talking about. And this was the episode where she does go to the roof. Like, I kind of went a little bit more in depth on my um, short little quip below the video. But it really is those little things that you do every single day. And because you never know what other people are doing, you just have to focus on the people that do care about you. And I think for a little bit there, and it is easy to do it, it's so easy to focus on the negative and the people that are actively working against you or being mean to you or bullying you and things like that. But if you can just hold on to the little bits of positive or those people that you know care, and that's what made a big difference on the roof too, is we brought up, the right people that she knows in her heart care about her, including her sisters. But, oh my gosh, I love Kate so much. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. I feel very torn about all the people bringing her things and writing nice things. I can't tell if it's because they feel like that's what you do or if they genuinely, in their hearts, feel sorry for what they did to her. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. Zach, Max, Daniel. But not Nathan. Huh. Huh, Alyssa, Rory, Trevor, Victoria. Warren even signed it. Courtney, Hayden, Justin, Stella. Victoria wow. Chase might be queen bitch, but She's not evil. I know you hate me and you should, but I only want to see you smile again. Please let me know if there's anything you need, Vic. Huh. I can ask her about Victoria, maybe? That was interesting. Wait, what? Okay, let's look at the letter. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. It's so crazy. All of these letters look the same. It's like they were faxed from the same or printed out from the same thing. Dear Kate, I just want to express my deepest wish for a speedy recovery and that Blackwell Academy is united in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have organized a rally in your honor, and I've never seen such outpouring of academic and community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little, given your circumstances, but it's important to know that we do care. 
If you need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Principal Ray Williams. Ray Ray Wells. Why? Do, where am I getting Williams from? Um, I need to figure out what that rewind was. I have to Thank say, you, the sisters. principal is on top of sending you really out his saved emails. Kate. The principal is on top of it. Bathroom. Let's look at the books. Yeah, we'll go ahead and look this stuff. Before I sit in the chair, let's look at the drawings. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Oh. Her drawing. Oh, I love Kate's <laughs> happy rainbow flock. Wait. Here. Bored cat. Oh, that is such a mood. Mustard. <laughs> I miss my banana. Oh my gosh. She would make such a great illustrator. If this icon. gets Kate through the night, so be it. I love how it says icon. Balloons. I don't think get well is quite apropos. I told you guys this. I told y'all that when I first saw those balloons. It just feels so unfitting. Okay. Sit here. So this is also a really, I it's feel like- It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. Yeah. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Oh, time travel is such a mindfuck. I feel like... Mm, oh, I lost it. I lost it. <laughs> Never mind, we lost it. Right. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. Victoria. Oh, that's what we were able to, cool. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a, uh, not nice, but I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. She's so I good. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? By the way, I think I'm wearing like a moth shirt. And if there's anything I took from Last of Us, it's like the moth is looking for light. Uh, but it also reminds me of the Rorschach test. She's insecure, 100% insecurity. I know I called her a bitch earlier. It just felt good to say that once. Okay, I'm human. It just felt good to call her it. But the truth is she's masking her own insecurities. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No, I think it will take more than that, Max. Hmm. Let's ask her about... Oh yeah, we need... She did say she had some stuff to tell us. So first, let's ask about her, and then ask about Nathan. Okay. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. Aww. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And so you cute. could bring Warren along, too. Warren? What do you think of uh, Warren? Oh, smart and silly. He's got such a good heart. And he's a cutie pie. I don't trust him. You know he likes you. And I'm going to the drive-in with him, so <laughs> we'll see. Oh yeah, the drive-in. Everything will give that's going on, it, a date seems weird. No, you deserve that. Kate Marsh, matchmaker. I'm glad mm. somebody is looking out for my love life. Even that's angels funny. need angels, Max. Aw. I all want right, you so to Nathan. know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. Oh, yeah. I love how fearless you are. She so what is going on with him now? She was upset at us for not doing anything. I forgot about that. 
All right, Vortex Club, Prescott family. Vortex Club, Prescott family. Um, Prescott family. I think his family is totally protecting him. Yeah. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. Oh, trust me. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. Okay. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Her bunny's name is Alice. Alice. I'm late. I'm late for a very important date. I think that... Well, who is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Yeah. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Let's get him. Um, I think that a lot of these situations where I see I can rewind, I don't have that same, like, I don't have the ability to because, like, right there, I guess the game assumes, or they're probably just trying to make sure that you can't mess it up by not talking to her, but I think most people probably, <laughs> that's so funny, the shadow. I think most people talk to her first and then you have to rewind to get the Victoria answer. But. Mm. Ah, greens. I never get enough vegetables, so I always take it in green form. Here we go. Hey, Max. Jefferson How you doing? talking to oh, Prince. Hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend Chloe. Yo. Chloe. Yo. Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long <laughs> story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, mm -hmm. I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. I need to so give I him. hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force um, an artist to work. I feel like a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. I was hoping she would put no one in. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just... Get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. <laughs> Nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Chloe! Hot for teacher. Gross! Why does everybody like Jefferson? Control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. Everybody flashing so back to when I definitely fine. thought he was cute too. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. All right. So first things first, look at the photos that we need to take. Okay, photos first. Uh, oh, we might have something new to read too. Mm. All right, so we're looking for a whale of a tail. We've got skeleton skateboard, a uh, windmill? With a feather? The rocks. Haven't we seen those rocks before by the lighthouse? I thought I had. Are those cats making a heart? Interesting. I feel like I... Maybe this is a lot longer of an episode than the normal ones. All right. I've never been so glad to see Chloe in my life. The second I saw her blue hair and that beautiful pissed off face, I wanted to kiss her again. Oh. And I couldn't even tell her where I had been or why. It would be one more thing to alienate Chloe from me and the world. I had to get refocused on her research or on her search for Rachel. Chloe has been busy with her detective work while I was in an alternative alternate timeline. Of course, it was much easier for me to explore David's garage, since Joyce had booted his ass out. That made Chloe more content than I've just about seen her since my return. I still kind of feel bad for David, 
But he overstepped his authority, dismissed, and it's so much easier to grab David's X-Files when he's not there. After we gathered our new information, our new info like Halloween treats, I loved watching Chloe go into Sherlock mode while we examined all of the clues on our big old drawing board. Of course, we would all know that she's more of a Dr. Watson, right? Elementary. <laughs> Honestly, with all of the impending doom and sadness, I felt so happy. Just to find myself back in action with my best friend and her butterfly blue hair. Hell yeah. Hella yes. I hate that term. <laughs> but first things first, I'm the realist. First things first, I really had to go and see Kate. I've never visited anyone in the hospital before, much less anybody who tries to commit suicide. So I was so happy that Chloe wanted to come along for support. The antiseptic smell and the endless white halls always kind of weird me out. Or maybe I'm just projecting my own fear of mortality. When I saw Kate in her room, surrounded by cards, flowers, and balloons, all I could think about was when I saw her last time, on the roof. Her face was so sad and sincere and helpless then, but now she had more life in her than I'd seen in a long time. I had no idea what to say to somebody in a situation like this. How are you? After you almost jumped off of a roof? But Kate's gentle spirit made it easy. I was overjoyed to see that she was drawing again and making plans for the future, including plans to get justice for what Nathan Prescott, Prescott had done to her, or what I call revenge. I, Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. All right, so look for everything. Skateboarder. That's got to be a photo opportunity right there. Oh, is this, um... Oh! We haven't seen him in so long. Oh my gosh, he's wearing a m'lady shirt. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. M'lady. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. What? I'm a wannabe artist. I love your drawings. Oh, because we got to see them, we can tell them this? Or You're not here to be a them? photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. Mm. <sighs> I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Aw. Nathan, Kate. Let's ask about Kate. Have you yeah. talked to anybody about... What happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is mm. that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever Hi. met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes. Bro but don't holes. fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looks so pissed off when I saw mm. him leaving campus a few moments ago. Oh, okay, that's important for us. I think, okay, let's ask him about the party, the but then we'll the rewind and ask tonight? him straight about it Nathan. It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Don't worry. Like, those are the type of people that go on to be the most successful. Like, truly. And he doesn't, like, he actually doesn't seem that bothered by it. Like, obviously, he calls them, like, bro holes or things like that, but he still doing him like he's not letting it just absolutely derail his whole fun at Blackwell as he should go to the party as he shouldn't but well, you know what go to the party that's exactly why you should go to that party hell yeah we have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate you won't be alone Daniel not with you direct me up Max oh, damn it I will go to the party like it is the end of the world Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but I'll go. <laughs> Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? I hope that's the right Good. thing. Maybe Nathan you should not go. around. All right, real quick. Let's I should go back to Chloe. Chloe. It, should also, it, it shouldn't take away... There we go. I don't think it took away 
our previous hey, conversations. Daniel, you look bummed out. Hold Don't no. give up that easy. No. Just stay away from your sketchbook Wait. for a while. Back out. You need to keep taking no. the shot. I don't want this dialogue. Mr. Jefferson no. says, stay away from my sketchbook. There isn't... You don't know me, Max. Oh, no. That's like you staying away from your no, camera. I'm... I think I'll just... It's no. Your out, thanks. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I'm a douche canoe. Hey, Daniel. Hola, Max. It's because I was trying to fast forward. I love your drawings. You're not... All right. <sighs> I do. We might get... Oh, we didn't. Well, let me ask about By it. By the way. Oh. Yeah. That explains why. Hmm. Okay, no, there was no additional dialogue with him. You... Damn it. I... All right, let's ask the questions. I... Make sure I... that we have everything doing the right. Oh. And then you... end of the world party, and then tell him. <gasps> Screw the Vortex no! Club. Uh... They don't deserve you, Daniel. They don't Why did they make the, the button I mean, to fast what forward? What did they actually do for Blackwell, huh? I feel like there should have been right, a different Max. fast forward. Screw them. No. Let's I'm not right. I'm not right. Guys, I'm doing this. They should have made the rewind something else. That's all I'm saying. Hey, Daniel. Not you one of the buttons out. that are the options. Why? Are you all right? Why? All right, what? let me see if I can get it first try. All right, so I love You're your drawings. Are you going to the yes. end of the world party tonight? All right. It will be if I go, man. Here we go. Go to the party. That's ex not. So we got him to do that, and then Kate. Have okay. you talked to anybody done. about what happened with? I. I don't think doing the. Right I hear that. Okay. I like this rev. Only if and... I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. Last one. By the way, Woo. have you Let's seen go. Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but... All right, so we got that, that information about him, Let's... and we are... Boom! It only took, like, four tries to get that. And my editor's pain. But here we go. <laughs> All right, so we're done with Daniel. This is an incredibly long chapter. I think Justin, I'm also just being very meticulous. It's been so long since I've seen you. Because you're way too cool for us I now, wonder, Chloe. can I not take a picture way of him? Way too much shit going on, man. Try going to Blackwell. Yeah. <laughs> Insane. Let's see if we can so look at I can tell that Justin is really into reach. Chloe. Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. I miss her laugh. Aww. Off my board. All right, let's she talk to... Who, which one's this? Generic footballer number two. I guess we can't talk to him. Oh, we've talked to this guy before. Zachary, that's right. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. Jeez. That was morbid. Oh, photo. Yes. Not actually. We we have seen one of these one photo. at the lighthouse, but this For is posterity. Different. Hmm. I wonder if it'll allow us to go up there this time. Okay, where did these rocks come from? This is too Blair Witch for me. Oh, again, we can only look at it. I don't think the Tobango will ever give up any secrets to us. I don't think so, but I still try every single chapter, okay? I've tried every single That's chapter. That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the drive-in. Why is that ironic? Brooke doesn't look happy that I'm going ape with Warren. Uh, hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm Ooh. here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? Hmm. Okay. The whales. I, I can't get my limited brain around my that limited cliffs brain. and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Oh, he asked you? That makes sense. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this it's phenomenon, here. but even Miss Grant has no clue. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not going to play the jealous girlfriend because I don't even know what Warren is to us. I think it's kind of up for the player to decide because I think you can choose not to go to the drive-in with him. But I don't know. We'll see. Uh, let's ask her about Nathan. I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? Ask Warren. I mean, you're going to the movies with him and everything. Come on, Brooke. Don't be that way. Nathan was suspended, but... 
He should still be on campus. Warren's not good enough for you? Okay. I saw Nathan pissed and walking off campus earlier. Damn. Good luck getting that date, Max. I can't tell that she's upset at me at all. I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant finally gave up and let me fly her again. But you're going to the drive-in with Warren, so you don't have time to fly oh. my drone. Really? I can't fly your drone because I'm going to see ape movies with Warren? You are perceptive, Max. Now, excuse me. My drone needs me. <laughs> Gosh! <sighs> okay. We should smack the drone out of the sky. No, I'm just kidding. <gasps> my redemption? Can I take a picture of the squirrel? That's so ironic that Warren asked Max to the driver. There's nothing ironic about it. Get over it. How would you like a partner for a quick photo? He asked me. Oh, yeah, we need to find a partner and then their tails can go together. It's not like I don't own all the original apes films. Oh, she continues. All right, I'm looking for a squirrel. Oh, there's his partner. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Sad. Makes me Samuel mad. and Miss Grant. Did you think you could hide from Max Caulfield, squirrel paparazzi? How do I get them to? Maybe we can play some food or something that makes them both want to go for it. And then it'll be a real Lady in the Tramp moment. And the animals. Not to mention. Oh, he has breadcrumbs, sweet we chocolate. We all need to look out yes. for each other these days. We can get a That's little cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Mm. How are you doing, Max? been a tough week I know He's yes so it has Samuel how are you sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay you look like you have a lot of questions too I actually just want the cookies <laughs> uh, Arcadia Bay I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell no Eclipse, Rachel, Vortex Club. Rachel. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers. If we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Interesting. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes that's all we have left. But... Max. All I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Lambert is waiting too. Aww. He's so sweet. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. Oh. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. Sounding more like a cult than Even a though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. Well, no offense to Miss Grant here, but mm. this is just the beginning. The beginning of what? Beginning of what? Oh, I, I don't believe anything ever ends. Especially time. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And, and Max, I don't like it at all. There has to be a reason that they intentionally give him that voice. They make his character seem a little bit just different from everybody else. And I can't tell if the game wants you to suspect him or not. And I, I don't know if I'm being naive by, by just thinking he's sweet and really... I. I like his character because I feel like I get some of the more adult dialogue options with him and he's very perceptive and I think that he also is overlooked and underestimated by everybody else and so I think that's why I'm like drawn towards him but maybe that's a mistake on my part like maybe he actually has something to do with this and I've let my own you know bias towards him play against that. No Ginger you're not getting treats. All right, let's ask about the animals. I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. Hmm. The squirrels. We can ask about all. 
is how can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. They're not alone. They're not alone these days. I feel so powerless. Oh, no. You're the opposite of powerless, Max. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. What? How can you not like him? Well, I'm glad <laughs> to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them... Oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Same. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them Hi. now. I know, love. I know, love. But you get treats later. We're streaming later. She knows stream means treats. So whenever she sees me recording, she thinks I'm streaming. I know. You're so cute, and I will give you treats later. All right. I wish I could talk to Samuel. Samuel misses his squirrels. Thanks again for helping me fight the power. Samuel misses his squirrels. Get that food I in your belly. I always think of, Daddy, I want to squirrel. Like from uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. All right, go get it. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? There we go, here we go, it's happening. Yes! I have done it. I missed the squirrels in the last chapter, so I really wanted to get them in this chapter. That's all I wanted to be able to do. No, don't make that cute face at me. Not today. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. All right, let's see if we can talk to Sorry them about to anything Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. There's no bother here, Max. There was other... Yes, there were people. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. Nathan. Nathan. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Mm. Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. David? Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. <sighs> he sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why? Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Kate bullied. Destiny. Kate bullied. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I, I hope she finds them now. Hmm. I definitely I have Stella questions about dialogue. what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, man. All right, so we can dead birds. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. Uh, the Tabanga. Is that cool with the Tabanga? We'll find out if the souls of the bird move on. Not that we can prove it. It's so ominous. Mm. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Oh, hello, go Max. Clean up graffiti for me. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. <sighs> I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. Hmm, recent events. Um, I don't know if she knows a lot about Nathan. I think she knows a lot about Kate. Let's ask her about Kate. I don't think surveillance would have helped Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? 
All right, You everybody. did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? No, thanks. Blackwell needs help. Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. Yeah. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate mm. was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. Boom. I don't mean to get riled up, but that I mean, party something should have else been will postponed. Just pop up. But... It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. The Prescotts. The Prescotts. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially mm. when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. Yeah. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing mm. you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. That's, but you truly give me hope. That's true. This is like the one time I feel like, although I think this is that like in between where you're trying to go out there in the world and look at things from a different perspective and lean into now like you're a legal adult, right? And not that that means you're any much more of an adult outside of a piece of paper that says that you're 18 equals an adult. But I think this is more about that like in between and kind of realizing that you like, you can't be ignorant for forever to everything. Although ignorance is bliss. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, mm -hmm. much less the snow in Wales. Scientific explanation beyond science. I think this is beyond science. Nothing is beyond science except for our lack of knowledge. Wow. We may never know why, but that doesn't change reality. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet mm -hmm. is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. Dying animals? You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding. Not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here. Unless you know something I don't. Yeah, but only in one area? Like, only on the beaches of Arcadia? Time travel? Let's mention time travel. Kind of just humor me for a second. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like, time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground. And chaos theory is just that. Hmm. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you <laughs> really change time? Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Butterfly. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I was and looking here for we are just Prescott and tugging thought everything. he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. Mm-hmm. You know him better. You probably know him better. I've cool. tried. Nathan is a Prescott, and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too much for one teenager. Mm. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once. But Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angrier than usual, so... We do need to go after him. Maybe it's good you haven't found him. Nope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I, I have to get going. Or maybe we can go into the... Uh, I'll see you later. ...dorms? It's always good talking to you, Max. Samuel misses his squirrels. <laughs> Samuel misses his squirrels. Wow. This, like... Uh, the amount of slander all throughout... Welcome to this, like, it's just, and it keeps, actually, that wasn't there before. 
Like somebody keeps writing all of this stuff. Oh my gosh, Alyssa, why you play hard to get when you already hard to want? What is wrong with ICU, Ginger? Building permit. Good thing I didn't let Chloe take that money from Principal Wells. Yeah, they're doing accessibility upgrades with the money. So there is something here though. There's something else. I think we just need to talk to Chloe. Okay, so we know that Nathan just left, so we gotta chase after him. Oh, coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. <laughs> oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell Ninja Mode. Blackwell Ninja Mode. All right, let's see if we can get into his room and see what he's hiding. There's gotta be something. Oh, that freaked me out. I don't know so why. so lame. They don't have co-ed dorms here. I yes, see. because I want Nathan Prescott in I the room know. next door. Good point. No. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. No. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. All right, we're gonna, well, this is our first time in the male dormitory, so hold on. I'm gonna let Ginger out and then we'll get right back to it. And I'll be She is a mess. She wants in, she wants out. I need to get like a cat flap for the door so I can stop having to monitor when she comes in and out. All right, so I doubt there's a whole lot to it. I mean, this feels really detailed for this episode. The Vortex Evan, Club sucks ass. Of course. That's why no shits were given. Mm. Evan rolls. <laughs> I don't remember seeing Evan. All right, so we have the same, oh, huge penis. Who needs a dorm map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. This is disgusting. Like, uh, what? Indiana Jones, Samuel equals something? Pizza boxes, out of my room, I, okay, so, I see DaCosta's room and Indiana Jones, Hayden Jones' room. I don't know. We're still going to explore all of them. Jeez. Like, they don't hold back in this game at all. I mean, it's probably accurate to what would be written on... Wait, hold on. Apparently, Logan missed this Do we hear Nathan poster. and Victoria? Look before you lust. Always use protection and secure the future. So oh, well, hello, is not Trevor a crime. and Dana. Oh, is that Trevor and Dana talking that we hear? Hmm. Oh my gosh. What the hell? Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. <sighs> I mean, you sit here and you hate to see it, but you know that this stuff happens. Like... Lord knows kids were, when I was, ugh, when was I in, well, this is high school, college-ish. Even um, after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Yeah. Although I wonder how much of this was before what happened with Kate as well, though. Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? It seems like it. Sit and shit. Free glory hole. Jeez. Third sector. Please, please, please okay. stay away, Nathan. Yeah, I feel like we need to get oh, to it fast. Zach or Logan. has got big balls. Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Bro's got a bro. That's not an excuse. Dead drop. There's that same poster. The Prescotts rule this town. This can only be Nathan's room. Yeah, it's gotta be. Only Nathan would be so pompous as to put <laughs> his own like family owning the town. It's all good in the woods. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. Hey. I sense Hayden is near. Hayden is near. What's this poster? Don't be This bullied. just makes me think of Kate. Yeah. Hmm. Slate. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. There's no unique picture of reality, Stephen Hawking. 
Aww. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. What the hell? He's is so wrong lucky with I'm a pacifist. It's truly like, I, I guess, I mean, people don't understand what words do. And I agree, like they didn't, sorry, Kate. Is Looks that? Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Sorry, Kate. Oh, you Bigfoots. Hmm. All right, let's go in. That was, I actually thought there was gonna be a lot more to derive from the hallway and everything, but all right. Break this, reverse time, find what we need, get out before Nathan catches us. I doubt he'd have that much stuff here. Maybe something on the computer. Oh, definitely. It's kind of ominous. This is actually a really creepy room. Now I need to find Nathan's phone or anything with Shit. clues. Somebody texted us. Joyce. Hmm. Max, now that David is not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackwell at night. I know it happened, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hoped you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. You could be such a good influence on her, unless you both want to play bad. But she can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I get into shenanigans, but I am still trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still teenagers. That is easy to forget. Oh, let's see the... Maybe we can take a picture outside of his room, possibly. Oh, we have no new notes. Interesting. All right. Hopefully we can turn the lights so on. So cute somehow. and ironic. Diploma. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. The best son in the world? Why would you keep that? What? Also, your parents had to make that for you to feel good. I thought good. Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescott's rule. I tried already turning on the lights. There's got to be another. There we go. That must be the lamp Chloe oh. broke when Nathan drugged her. Never mind. I don't want to turn the MP3 player on. That is so Chloe. Hey, asshole. We need to talk or I'm going to tell everybody what you did, and you're going to pay. Oh my god. Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Oh my gosh. Also, why would... I really hope they were all consenting models. What the actual heck is this room? That monochrome camera is brand new and cost about six grand. Pastor. Yoink. Our camera now. What is on the film, by the way? I don't know, but between the music and the creepy photos, I don't... I don't think this prescription has helped, Nathan. Yeah. <laughs> Photo? I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Something about him looks... Oh, he's wearing a sailor costume. Gosh, ah, uh, it's giving me little nightmare vibes with just the. Oh, actually, no. Some of the black and white art reminds me of um, is it MC? Is it Escher? Holy shit! That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from. A gift from. A gift from who? These are really creepy. Like, what is that? Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. And he has so many These films. These films all have a dark pattern. Everything about this room is dark. Who is that? That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. The new romantics? Photos right there. Magazine. Hold on. Oh. Nathan don't, Prescott. Don't touch it. All American teen. Oregon's best boobs. Don't touch it. It might be sticky. All right, photos. Oh, there was a book on the ground. I didn't even see the book. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. Rage on. Anger management. A teen and parent guide to anger management. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your... It's so damn creepy, but... The guy has his own style. 
Does he shoot entirely in black and white? That's gotta be on purpose. You know, like a hint that there's no in between for him. Nathan is way into this party. What's up? Bad sign. All right, this is to Victoria from Nathan. Hey, gorgeous. Let me know what you're wearing to the Vortex Club this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious potty favors. I even told my dad to keep the pigs away from Blackwell so we can get wrecked without a hassle. If we're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's just do it on point, right? Oh, bastard. Damn. Now I remember why I hate you and why Kate will get justice. Yeah. Can we not take it down like right here? I mean, obviously, there's probably copies at this point. Oh, but man. Sorry. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Oh, the dad. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week, and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment any time. I hate that. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after his book tour, but for now, let's stick to your prescriptions. I need you calm and quiet while Pan Estates is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, and I'll guide you into this room step by step, as did my father. It was hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but you'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell. That sh this shit town, shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. I want you to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't F it up, son. Your father. Well, if the apple didn't Too bad Nathan isn't from, more like his dream. sister. She I sounds awesome. That. And far away. He has a sister, Christine Prescott. Tudo Bem from Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so please let me know what's going on in your exciting scholastic life at Blackwell. I bragged to all my coworkers in the Peace Corps how, that my talented bro Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. Oh yeah, bragging because your dad paid for it for him, bought it out? Even though I can't always check my mail or phone. Please, 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 please. Send, that sounds like me with my brothers. Send me some new photos of the campus so I can live vicariously through your leads. I miss you in your photos. And yes, mother told me you're in trouble and father has been on your ass, but you have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad, Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End a lecture. You're at school, so I just want to make sure you feel at home. Back to the mangrove. Sending out good thoughts. Better write back, or I'll have a jaguar shipped to your dorm. <laughs> yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong Extreme stuff. Extreme diet suppressant? Huh. I'm unfamiliar, but... Alright, so we looked through that. It's gotta be... Oh. Wait, what is that? Scratch marks. What the out. hell are all those marks on the floor? Pull it back, pull it back. Move the couch. Let's find out what you're hiding. Mm. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. He has a... Okay, he has a burner. Now I have Nathan's phone, yeah. so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back. Oh, fingers crossed. Okay. I think I found just about everything in there, so let's get out of this. Like, disgusting. Even, like, everything looks grosser about this dorm. Everything. Okay, Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. Fair so enough. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Really creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. Well, I mean, what's on it first before... What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. Oh. Max. Oh, Warren. I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. Oh, Warren. <gasps> Warren. <sighs> Dude. You are so fucking dead! Oh my... Get off me, brah! 
<gasps> bruh, get off me, bruh. Stay out of it, stop Warren. What if I stay out of it and Warren keeps doing something, but what if, if I stop Warren, what if he grabs the gun? I want to stop Warren from beating him up. He doesn't deserve, like, I get he's a douchebag. I get it. But nobody deserves to be wailed on like that. Um, but I just don't want, okay. I'm going to do it and then see how Warren, it goes. stop it. Come on. He's not worth it. Oh, oh my God. Grab head. the gun, though. Grab the gun. Why are y'all looking at me like that, huh? You and you, you're all dead. Let's go now. Okay. Plus, my dad is on his way. You're all fucked. He owns you. He doesn't own anybody else. He just likes to think that. Even if Nathan definitely deserved a beating, we should try, try to, be to be better, better than it. that. Yeah, I mean, I don't feel bad about that decision. I'm sticking with that one. I don't understand why we didn't take the gun from him. I feel like that's what we should have done out Damn. of anything. That was intense. <sighs> Warren, uh, th thank you so much. For what? For headbutting Nathan Prescott. Yeah, that's that was awesome. I don't know. I almost went crazy there, like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? His demeanor seems so different. I better stick with you guys, just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police, um, not yet. Uh, so maybe you better, mm. um. Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's oh. cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You Wait, better. I thought the movie was tonight. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, oh. you are. Be careful you don't trip over your ego. Um, his demeanor yeah, seems so different. Yeah, that so fucking in love with you. Oh, maybe that's I know. Crazy. He really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will mm. he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. It's funny, I feel like we keep getting... Like maybe I said, not... Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. Maybe not like ahead of ourselves, but I do feel like we continue to go to into situations without the full picture or needing more evidence i get that we're trying to gather the evidence but it still feels shaky somehow oh okay we're at the beach tomorrow else hmm. okay i have a feeling that this is probably This is probably towards God. the end, but I, I don't want the videos to go too long. So what we'll end up doing is we'll probably finish this chapter and then we'll start the final chapter because I bet you the final chapter is going to be super long. So let's go ahead and end it right there. Um, sorry, I know that this was a little bit shorter. They've kind of, it's just been hard to find where to stop them. The first like two and three episodes were easy because it was like two episodes to each of them done this one I just feel like if I press forward I'm gonna be rushing it a little bit and I want to take my time on this so with that guys I hope y'all enjoyed this next segment I kind of talked to you guys about my thoughts and everything as brave as I don't know as brave as Warren was there at the end and he gives us zero reason to think him suspicious I guess I just feel like I'm trying to really notice how characters act at the beginning before all of this started and then how they're acting now. And his character seems very inconsistent. And so that makes me suspicious. So yeah, that, I don't know. I, I think I have that totally out of, out of whack. But with that guys, thank you so much for hanging around. Thank you for your time. And I will see you guys in the next video. We will finish up this episode four and we'll start episode five and then lengthy or not, we'll do one more video on the final part. And I can't believe it's almost over. It just feels like there's so much more to this story and so much to unravel in such a short time, but I know it will do its thing. So with that guys, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye YouTube.
feel like a more <laughs> accurate title to this game is Life is Hard. <laughs> but I'm realizing in my head that would not have sold as many copies. Nobody wants a reminder of how hard life is. <laughs>